Welcome back here to Studio 3, everyone. It is Super Bowl time, and yes. we are cooking up some super food mm -hmm. with Janet McCormick of 10 Minute Meals. Janet, good to see you as always. Great to see you. I know we've done a lot of the prep work here, but yes. what but are we making today? This is one of the easiest like appetizers oh, that you can do for the Super Bowl. Uh -huh. And okay. what better way is to entice people over to your home is to have something great to eat. It's all about and the this food. This is part of my new book, which is called Dude Foods. And uh, so this did you is say a dude, dude food? Yes. <laughs> I love that. We want it to be easy for you guys, so you can we want to get you guys in there cooking right. for us, you know. And then if you want to impress like women and bring the women to the party too, this right here will do it. If you can cook, yeah, because it's a little fresh but okay. delicious. I promise. Yeah. The good news is what you don't have to cook. You don't have to cook any of this go. stuff. So uh -huh. this is just going to be like a dumping fresh ingredients, putting okay. it all together. So what do we do first? This is a. Um, this is a shrimp ceviche hummus. Okay. okay? And we're going to use great chips to just use it and dip. So um, I'm making it so simple for you all that I'm actually using a paper plate. <laughs> you got the good china out. Right, yeah. <laughs> just toss it out. You don't even have to worry right. about doing the dishes. Perfect. So, and I'm going to have you guys help me. And okay. So first we're going to start with this hummus, hummus. that I literally bought, mm -hmm. already prepared. This is a really good brand. And this is a hot one, so. Already has some yeah. spiciness There's to spice, it. There's spice. And I'm going to have her. I want you to mix okay. this for me. And then spread it out and we're going to form a base. Okay. That's going to be your base. Over here, we have a lot of chopping going on. Mm -hmm. we've, done, we've done a lot of the prep <laughs> work too, the magic of, of TV. Yes. Um, but I already bought the uh, shrimp, which we managed to kind of, you know, chop up into some very big right. pieces and chunks. Um, I like it a little bit chunky, but this is already prepared. You literally can go into the meat section and get shrimp already prepared, so mm -hmm. you don't have to do anything. So pick up a package of that, and you bring it home. You just chop, chop it, up, it up, a rough chop, and then we've got these fresh tomatoes, which if you'll get the cherry tomatoes. Um, no, I can't get that. Yeah, those cherry. <laughs> by the way, these cherry tomatoes, I tested them already, the little cherubs. Those things are so sweet. It's like it's summer. I know. It almost, I love those. Yeah, it almost fooled me, but the tomatoes kind of spoke a little louder. Okay, so we also chopped up a little red onion and then of course some cilantro. And what I'm going to have you do is just kind of fold this together. You've got gloves on. Just go All ahead right. and just mm -hmm. get your hands right in there and fold that together. And then on top of that, I'm going to zest this lime. Hey, I have a rule when I'm working with limes. I always zest it first. Mm -hmm. And then I cut it in half and squeeze it because the zest. Squeeze it all up? Yes. Oh. The zest is so, I don't know, aromatic, uh -huh. springy, bright. Yeah. All the words that are not usual for. <laughs> I was going to say, everything we want to be <laughs> yes. thinking of uh, this time of the year. Winter it's, can be so drab yeah, and dreary. It's thinking summer thoughts. Mm -hmm. Yes, and the smell too. Nice. Doesn't the smell? Dreaming of summer. And if you don't go too, if you're using one of these plain, um, like zesters, or I call it a plane, or it looks like a wood plane to me. But, uh -huh. anyways, you just take the thing and you just go all over. And now I'm going to take a knife, and I've already done it. I've I cut this in two. And I'm going to take one to two limes, and I'm not that oh, strong. It Good. Yeah, doesn't it? <laughs> and you're going to mix Super it Super fresh. Uh -huh. And we're going to put that on here and just mix up this lime juice and get that nice and citrus flavor going on. And look, you can't get too much of this. I'm only using one. I'm using about probably 12 to 15 shrimp that we chopped up really quick. Okay. I probably only used a fourth of an onion. Okay. And I used mm -hmm. one clove of fresh garlic. And that's going to be the, basically, that's all it. of it. That's my, my, mm -hmm. that's my ceviche. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I can't get this. <laughs> <laughs> There's there avocados. I, I got it. Hits, yeah. I was cutting an avocado and the, <laughs> the seed got stuck. Okay, so I'm just going to put two limes, uh, lime juice in here, like this. And a little bit more. <laughs> just a little bit more, but I'm not very strong. Here, I'll help you with this one. <laughs> it keeps slipping. <laughs> Let's All see. right, so once she gets that finished, I'm going to have her do another toss. You know, it really helps if you have one. one of those juicers, those handheld juicers that I right. forgot to bring. But Ugh. that really gets every. We'll put your friends to work who are coming over for the game. Exactly. You guys mm -hmm. can do this perfectly. Yes. Because uh -huh. you're all so strong. <laughs> 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 all right. So now okay. we're just going to do another quick mix. And that's a lot of ceviche, isn't it? <laughs> it looks so but good. But we're going to pile it right on the base here. So okay. go ahead and pile it on okay. there for me. Yeah, I want to move this over. And she can pile it right on for me. There you go. Look at oh, this. Wow. It becomes just beautiful, you all. It's like, I don't know. And it's, it's, this is so what good. food well, dreams are made of. And I was, <laughs> I was saying, Janet, you can 
take and make a little extra with this recipe so that way there's plenty yeah. to go right. around. Right, absolutely. Now, I can't do much without these some off feta so or some kind of cheese, so mm -hmm. just do a little sprinkle. Cheese makes you, everything yeah. good. You can decide Enjoy. against it if you want, but I just like it. Now, yeah. we're done with that. I'm going to give you a little Oops. bit. We can serve this with chips, and I've got some wonderful blue chip, uh, blue corn chips, uh -huh. and then you could also things. serve it with some pita mm -hmm. uh, chip or some bread, whichever you would prefer. Now, I see you have the fancy plates out, but if you really want to keep it simple, right. just use paper plates <laughs> and then toss it all out after the party. Absolutely. Um, these I just brought real quick because I'm serving ladies. Yes. But, um, Susan, have you fancy had ceviche before? I have not. This is a first yeah. for you? Yes. So I can't wait for you to try it. Now, I've had it before, but I like your version, but Jane. This, I like it with the hummus. Yeah. I've so never had that before. This is different, and it's just... Look, did you guys have to cook at all? No. No. It didn't is take long either. Is that what we're looking either. for with good dude Let's food? That right there is a plus. Mm. You don't actually have to cook. And when you have... Um, this is delicious. You can really concentrate on the game instead of, uh, mm -hmm. you know, having to spend all morning cooking. I'm detecting a little bit of a spice. Ooh. But it's good, the way it's all mixing in together. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that hummus mm -hmm. <clears throat> has a little bit of a kick to it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Enough. So, like, usually it's not too my, much. It's not overpowering. In my ceviches, usually I put a jalapeno, but because we had this in this uh, hummus already, I was like, I'm going to help you out here mm -hmm. a little bit, not kill you with the heat. Thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, well, Janet, if people are wanting to connect with you on social media, or they're wanting to find your recipes from... Your new cookbook. My I new know it's dude food. All Online. dude food. It's going to be when um, it's going to be great. I'm going to have all the recipes for you guys. I've got my son Christian Perry. He's helping me with it, uh -huh. and he's coming up with some. He, you know, he's always like, "Mom, that's not good. This is what you need to do." So <laughs> that's what he's been doing. Kind of, he's been helping me with it, and he's helping like, got to tweak some yes, recipes. He's got a and boy. He doesn't cut me any slack. He's uh -oh. my biggest critic. <clears throat> But he's all about being per perfect, uh, mm -hmm. a perfectionist. And so um, it's called Dude Food, and it's going to be on, you can get on my Facebook account, and you can download it from there, or 10-Minute uh, Meals, or mm -hmm. Instagram, 10-Minute uh, Meals as well. Wonderful. Well, this is, I love it. It was not a lot of work. Right. And not going to be a lot of cleanup afterward either. either. So I think you've, you know, that's a touchdown. Yeah. You really scored with this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a hit at every Super Bowl party. Janet, we always love when you stop by the kitchen to cook with us. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you all.